everyone. Uh, making up a uh, contest entry for Tim because Tim's awesome. Tim got me to start doing this uh, YouTube thing for real, real. And uh, never made one. Of them. I never made a contest entry before, so I figured I'd start right now. Uh, he asked for three different questions, and uh, the first one is, "How you doing?" Which is awesome. I'm doing great. Uh, I just got engaged to a girl I've known since kindergarten. And I've loved her every day. Uh, got a new car. Learned to drive a stick shift. I'm learning to drive a stick shift. Asterix. So you know, I think I'm doing pretty good. The second one is. Does Batman really need a Robin? And that's a weird question. I think he should. Because really what Robin is, is just a way for kids to go, that could be me fighting along Batman. But then they gave him his own personality and all this other stuff. And then what he kind of became was... Uh, Batman's ground back to reality. So this guy who has all this money and has all this fighting potential could just go off and just start you know beating people senseless until he gets what he wants. But he has a little kid there to try to be a moral compass, right? So it's supposed to be someone who takes this guy who could easily go insane and be his ground back to what is right. But that's not what he actually comes out to being most times. Because anymore, all I've ever seen of Batman is, I have all the answers. I know exactly what to do every time. And granted, most of it's all from, like, some of his, like, some very scattered comic books and a lot of movies and a lot of video games. But it's, and also from what other, like, from, like, comic things I internet stuff but it's just a weird thing where let's take a movie like uh, the newest new 52 thing where uh, Batman and Green Lantern are talking to each other and Green Lantern's just so flabbergasted that Batman doesn't have powers and he's like oh yeah well this is your power and he holds up the ring and like oh no I don't have my ring on anymore and I know that it's technically as good like that can happen that's fucking stupid. I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, Batman just knows that's exactly how that works. Like, he just knows it. He just, like, there's later, he's in a spaceship, and he just knows how to work it. Like, this guy doesn't need a ground. He just knows everything. Fucking Batman's perfect 90% of the time. There's only, like, when he's written really well, does he need, like, somebody to bring him back down to Earth. So, I guess that's the thing. I guess that's what it would be, is this... Depending on who's writing him, either Robin can be just the boy sidekick that crushes Green Lantern's throat because he's got covered in yellow paint, or he can be an actual, like, character that makes sure this fucking guy who's dressed like a bat doesn't turn into an insane person that he's fighting. So, yeah, it just depends who's writing him. And the last one is, he's looking something for something new to collect. I don't collect comics. So, Transformers, why not? Uh, in specific, this 2014 Generations line has been awesome. Uh, it has stuff like uh, Armada Starscream, which they, they made pretty much an entire new figure based off of an old figure. So that's what the Generations is kind of supposed to do. It's them taking one thing and making a transformer of it like they used to they had one that was the uh where is it where is it they had uh ones from the video game so they made transformers out of them and so this line they were literally making it from all the 30 years of transformers like this was called the thrilling 30 line so i would definitely recommend that because they have armada starscream who is my favorite starscream and then just made him a deluxe, which is kind of kind of sucks, but you know it's cool too. But they also fixed a big problem with Armada Starscream is this giant cannon of doom on his shoulders, because you know now like how can you put this on a shelf really? 
because that was really shitty on the original figure. Yeah, they have stuff like that where they take it from old lines, but then they have stuff like uh, this, where these ones are based off of the IDW figures. So this is Megatron, he turns into a stealth bomber. And this is, you would think, Optimus Prime, but it's actually Orion Pax. Yeah. It's like one of the only times I really know of that they, you have an Orion Pax figure. Maybe there's a G1, but I'm not really sure. But that's really cool, because this is an Optimus Prime. It's Orion Pax, what Optimus used to be before he became a Prime. And then they have cool as hell shit like the Voyagers, like Springer, and he's a triple changer, so he turns into a, a car. But also, because he's cool, he can transform into a, a helicopter. Yeah, and this guy's fucking awesome. So cool that, you know, I went ahead and got his uh, repaint remold, which is more or less the same figure. Like, he's got a lot of the same parts, but he's got a lot of things just changed up in a different color scheme. And I was like, fuck it. One's good, two's better. So I got those, and then, you know, they got stuff like, so I showed you off this guy, and then they have, this guy slightly differently painted, it's because they have a group of people called the Seekers, which is just different paint jobs of him, and it's like his, like, army of guys that just look like him, so this is, uh, Skywarp, so I need to get Thundercracker to complete at least the big three, but they also have, uh, they have pretty much one of everything. They have things like Tank or, or Scoop, which even I'm not, like, I'm a big fan of Transformers, and even I'm not, like, clamoring for a new Scoop or Tank or figure. But they're also putting out a uh, RC, which is cool, because we don't get a lot of RC figures, but they're also putting out Chromia. Chromia is just a blue version of RC normally, but instead of just making a blue RC, they're instead basing Chromie off of my favorite Prime RC, who I, this is the only figure I still have in box, because she's fucking awesome. And I don't know how cool she transforms or how good her articulation is, because I still have her in the box. Yeah. I mean, I have... Let's see, I have one, two, three, four Prime first edition figures. I'm still looking for a Prime or a first edition bulkhead. But, yeah, this doing one I want to keep in the box just because I like her so much. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I definitely have under 100 issues with uh, these figures it's because I like how the kind of gambit they run of multiple things and also they do come with comics so that's something especially the ones that are based off of IDW molds and also IDW will just make it so that they Will have, like they incorporate this mold in there. So, yeah. That's my confidence entry. Good luck, Tim. I love you. And I guess I'll just end it with that awkward note. Bleh.